everybody. Welcome to Brown Girl's Hair. Today my mom is going to show you how to do this hairstyle. Alright, here we go. Okay, first I'm going to start by parting her hair from ear to ear. Probably just, just behind the ear. Okay, now that I've completed the part, hold your head back too so they can see. Completed the part of her head going from this side to this side. We're going to do a part down the center of her head so that she'll have a ponytail on this side and a ponytail on this side. So I try to get the center. Trying to make it straight, as straight as possible. Okay, if you can hold your head up, look straight ahead at the camera so I can make sure it's straight. Uh, that's pretty good. We're going to go with this. So we have a ponytail on this side, and we're going to have a ponytail on this side. We're going to do just a one little braid going to the rear. strands. Everybody braids differently so however you braid, under braid, over braid, whatever. Okay, I'm sure you guys can see the braid a lot better. So I'm going to stop. I've reached, turn your head so they can see, I've reached the point of the part. So I'm going to stop here because once I put the braid up I'm going to plait it differently. So putting the band on it. What I'm going to do with it is twisted but not just yet because I'm going to put it inside of one of the ponytails in the back so what I'm going to do is just hold it to the side and we're going to, in fact, I can just put it with the hair in the back just to get it out of the way. to do the other ponytail. I'm going to braid this side. And I usually do try to work as quickly as possible with her, especially depending on her mood and, um, you know, if it's the end of the day and she's been at school, how tired she is. I'll try to do faster hairstyles, but for the most part, I do like to try and do styles that will last for the whole week because neither one of us like doing hair every single night, especially on school nights. And she has older brothers who play football, so, you know, with them having late practices and, you know, it can get kind of hectic and kind of difficult trying to do hair at 9 o'clock at night when she needs to be in the bed. So, I genuinely most of the time try to um, try to do hairstyles on the weekend maybe 
Saturday night or Sunday night that will last throughout the whole week. Sometimes it doesn't work out, but that's always my goal, most of the time anyway. Okay, so we've done this one. It's not perfect, but it'll do for me. This style, it usually lasts a couple of days. It won't last for a whole week, but it will last for a few days. Okay, so we've completed the two ponytails in the front. Okay, so now we're going to do the two plaits in the back, continuing from the part in the front. It's going to go straight down. Straight down the back. I'm going to twist it. I like to put moisturizer in my hand and add it to her hair as I go to make sure that it's well moisturized while I'm twisting. And I always like to twist all of her ponytails in the same direction so I normally always twist to the right. So all of them are twisted to the right. Because her hair was really getting in my way, I had to go and get the clamps and add them to help keep her hair from being all over the place and getting in the way of her styling. So, I am taking this ponytail, we're going to cross it over and put it with the one in the rear. Now if you choose to continue to do the French, the French braid on down instead of switching up to the twist, that's totally up to you. You can do that as well. Just keep doing the three strand all the way down instead of switching up. That's also an option. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this remain the way it is. And I'm just going to incorporate it into the twist for her hair down here in the back. Adding moisturizer as I go. Flesh. And I'm going to continue to twist on down. Now we're going to do the same thing for this side. I'm going to take this ponytail and I'm going to twist it. Try to divide the hair up evenly where you have the same amount of hair in each strand. And I always like to twist to the right as I said before. And I do have moisturizer on my fingers as I'm going down. Okay, so we have that. I'm going to incorporate this. I'm going to cross it over and put it with this ponytail. And put this all together. And I would love to let her hair hang down. But this one right here she's so special has the longest beautiful hair long beautiful hair and doesn't like to wear it down isn't that something and i'm pretty sure she gets older i'm sure she's gonna grow out of that mm -hmm. 
so now we're twisting and believe it or not these two ponytails in the back we have them hanging now but I guarantee you they're gonna be pulled up before it's all said and done okay so we've twisted it and this is it Yay! I don't know. What should we call this hairstyle? Crisscross ponytails? Uh-uh. What should we call it? Let's call it... Um, let's Turn around so they can see it real good. Hold your head up. Hold your head up. No, that not down. Up. Yeah, like that. Hope you guys can see the crisscross. Okay, turn around. No, I want to call it... Turn around. I want to call it cross trees. Cross trees? Yes. Okay, cross trees is what she wants to call it. So I guess cross trees it is. So I hope you guys like it. Hold your head down so they can see. We have a braid here and a braid here. And, and that's it. And to get more information about the other hairstyles, go to www.kissybrowngirls.com hair.com and there's another website we have go to www.kissygirl.com and you'll find products of kissy you girl want, let me show my shirt and you'll have products of kissy girl and you will have products of brown girl hair yes thank you guys so much for tuning in we hope that you find us on facebook at brown girls hair and if you'd like to check out our blog it's www.browngirl without the s hair.blogspot.com please subscribe comment thank you guys for watching have a great one